Hi everyone, I am Dr. Zainab Bora, and I have with me Dr. Ritika, who has cleared the FMG exam with a score of twenty-one. Very, very well done, Ritika. How are you feel? Uh, so tell, tell us your uh, story. How have you, uh, you know, been throughout MBBS? How was post MBBS like for you? Uh, first of all, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I didn't actually expect the score. Um, it was higher than my GPS. So amazing. Uh, and uh, I just followed through the cerebellum uh, marathon, uh, and yeah. uh, uh, it was pretty much it. Uh, I think I did seventy five percentage of what is ideal, uh, which the faculty told us to do. So that may get me through this much. <laughs> and I feel Amazing. So tell me your uh, MBBS background. Where were you? Where did you do your MBBS from? And uh, what was that like? Um, uh, I did my MBBS in uh, Ukraine. Uh, Ivana Frankos National Medical University, and uh, uh, as there was a war kind of situation and all, I didn't take transfer. I stayed there and I completed okay. from there. Okay, so what was that time like for you and and your family? I'm I'm pretty sure it would be very tough. But uh, uh, how did you manage to you know uh, get through that time? That time was hard uh, in the sense that lot of there was lot of stigma that. You will not be yeah. able to continue, uh, come in, come back to India and mm. continue this MBBS journey here. Also, it 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 was really confusing. So that was pretty hard. Uh, many everyone was confused, and too many people took transfers. Uh, we didn't have any idea what to do. So yeah, yeah, uh, and we got through that. Actually, it was a dark period just because that uh, there it was hard. Uh, in the sense, it was cold during winters, and there was no electricity, no water, and that was hard. But still, yeah. it was great having a, such an experience. Yeah, it it teaches you a lot, you know. Uh, yeah. And and I'm pretty sure it was so uncertain that that studies will be the last thing on your mind during that uh -huh. time, you know. So uh, very hard to uh, study while while your colleagues uh, in other parts of the world are 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 preparing that time, you know, and and you are not mm -hmm. able. To so, so so that also uh, adds to the challenge so um, after you were back uh, you had around 6 months to prepare how much uh, time did you have uh, 5 months almost 5 months okay. so how did those 5 months look like so you uh, did the entire uh, mission uh, labs that we had huh. um, i just followed through the mission classes i didn't yes. do anything extra i just <laughs> Did the 75 percentage of what is ideal. I didn't do too much. But still, I think uh, the uh, mission classes, then the lab two, then the mm -hmm. marathon sessions. And the last yeah. marathon sessions were really useful because it just consolidates everything. If I was sitting through alone, I don't think I would be managed to cover all myself. Yeah. yeah. Great. And I think it gives you, uh, you know, accountability more than anything that, that you know, all of you guys are studying together and, and you have to show up daily. So it gives you, you know, that, that pressure is gone, that you have to sit by yourself, find the motivation to do that. You just have to, you know, you have to show up to the class. So that is what has worked. And this time the result is so amazing. You know, we are all so proud of you guys. Uh, we've been seeing the messages since last night. So many of you, you know, have cleared the exam and that's so rewarding for all of us as teachers to see so uh, kudos you know to you and and all your friends who have managed to crack this exam thank, thank you so much uh, Ritika, you. for talking to me and and congratulations again thank you thank you so much man thank you bye